Hey everyone, I am so excited and I wanted to share this video because as of this week, the NCAA Board of Governors have essentially supported changes that will allow student athletes to receive compensation for endorsements and promotions. This is the first time they have taken steps that would allow student athletes to make money off of their name image and likeness. So back in the day, I was a college athlete myself. I played division one women's basketball on a full athletic scholarship. So I will have some thoughts on this topic. But before I give you my two cents, uh, this movement really started to pick up in September of 2019 when California was like, hey, NCAA, enough is enough. We're gonna do our own thing. Um, and essentially they passed the Fair Pay to Play Act. This essentially opens the doors for student athletes because they're able to collect money from endorsements without having to worry about losing their NCAA eligibility or scholarships. I think this is cool because it means sports brands and businesses can partner with student athletes in commercials, advertisements, and more. It also means that smaller businesses would have to pay student athletes for their likeness for things like local advertisements, smaller promotions, or even autograph sessions. Even more interesting, athletes themselves could make money by monetizing their social media platforms, selling apparel, or creating their own independent brands. My thoughts? Honestly, I'm kind of still on the fence because as a former Division I athlete, I believe that student athletes receive amazing benefits, especially if they're recipients of a full scholarship. As a women's basketball player, my scholarship covered all of my tuition, room and board, which is essentially a meal plan, um, as well as all of my course-related books. And we had access to our own athletics tutor, a study hall. We received a ton of gear, sneakers, equipment and opportunities to travel around the country each year. But here is the rub. Last year alone, college sports generated $14 billion in revenues. So the NCAA is getting paid well. They are not hurting for money. And this is why I'm in favor of some type of compensation agreement being reached because while I knew a lot of competitors or teammates that were covered and taken care of by their full scholarship, there were so many other little costs that they were just unable to afford and it definitely did affect their college experience. So this is why, while I'm still on the fence on how it can get properly executed, I think it's really time that we begin to protect our student athletes because while college sports is generating a ton of money, there are a few student athletes who are unable to afford furnishings for their dorm room. They're unable to buy school supplies. Some can't even afford a plane ticket or a car ride home to visit their families during the holidays or during school breaks. So that's where I stand. It's going to be so exciting to see all of the ideas and proposals and developments that pop up in the coming months. So I really look forward to seeing the momentum shift in a positive direction. I hope you like this video. Feel free to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel for more updates.